Ooh. Hi, everybody. Hi. My, my name is Luke Doucet. I'm Melissa McClelland. This yeah. is our pick. Yeah. This is the White Horse pick. We are from the band White Horse. And, uh, we have two of these today, but we often don't. We often just have one, and we share it. Usually only have one pick, and I misplace it all the time. You can always hear me, you know, where's my pick? Where did I put my pick? Where is my yeah. pick? And then I'm just one by one stealing his until he has none left. And it used to be, this is a, this is a Jim Dunlop one millimeter nylon pick. I have fake nails, which also operate as picks. So I can do this. Mm -hmm. But uh, I had, I used these very specific pink picks that I used to think were cool and they were a little bit thicker. And then I, um, I realized that they were not as easy to find as these ones. And I decided, you know, I can get used to, I've, I've gotten used to some really crappy guitars in my life just because I thought they were cool and they sounded cool. Uh, now I have, uh, I play these Gretches and they sound and feel fantastic. But, but I realized with my picks, I don't need to use picks that are hard to find. We don't need to use picks. And we always use the same pick. We're not really that picky. picky. But, um, and so I decided, okay, well, uh, I'm just going to go find the most commonplace pick that's the right size. So I went to Long McQuaid Music. Thank you, Long McQuaid Music. And I just went, can I see your picks? And I picked out the most commonplace one that I said, Where, what's, what are the picks that are the most popular? And they said, these ones are. So I said, great, I'm going to start using these from now on because mm -hmm. I'll never be not able to find them. And the, the pink shiny ones, you just slip right out of your hand. Although they would have been especially appropriate for this record. That's true. And we are getting white horse picks made, so stay yeah. tuned. Yeah.